Good morning all, it's Bob from Greybeard Models and uh, first of all I'd like to say um, hope everybody had a good 4th of July over there in the, on the other side of the pond uh, obviously it's something we don't celebrate over here in the UK for obvious reasons <laughs> but anyway hope you had a good day um, so the Confederate Artillery Kit um, I've made a start on that um, and I've made a start basically on the horses um, so we'll get over to the bench have a look and we'll run through it one of the first things I would say though is some of it I filmed and then I went out of shot and it wasn't until um, I'd gone past all that whole process that I realized what I'd done um, so I couldn't go back and reshoot it so apologies for that but apart from that little uh, faux pas, um, it's all gone well and the kit's going really well. So let's go over the bench, we'll have a look. Right, so the first thing that I decided to do as part of the artillery set was to take the horses and uh, put the halves together. And uh, as part of holding them together while while they're while they're setting i've got a selection of pegs and various uh, rubber bands dependent on how i feel with it um but i'll probably just use some masking tape just to hold the halves together so for example with this particular horse i've got everything lined up um and there's as you can see there's gaps and things so these these halves will need to be sort of pulled together um, now they can be they can be put together with with pegs like that um, so you can so for example using using a bit of extra thin if you put extra thin in there it will capillary down the joint quite well Put a fair bit in there because obviously you want it to have an effect um, and, and I'd run a piece all the way around um, and then put the put a peg on and the peg will hold that seam together while it while it's while it's setting I'll just take that off for a moment because I'm going to put it that way around um, and then underneath the head you can see that the seam's still there but there is gaps so where possible um, we'll just use extra thin to uh, make the joins so down the back of the the main here there's uh, there's a seam there and again just using extra thin a fair bit on on the brush not over too much but it will capillary down the joint and again if you hold that together you can actually see that the plastic will will sort of ooze out a wee bit so again get a peg and hold that together this is this is like a complicated wing in an aircraft kit um, but it but it does hold together quite well and again under the under the neck of the horse again using extra thin because it will capillary um, and it actually makes the joint really easy to do well so unfortunately there i've got a runoff of glue that's followed the line of the neck a bit unfortunate but if you just leave it let it go let it go off don't don't try and you know rub it or anything like that just leave it and and it will it will actually dry it'll evaporate eventually um, and again so we're putting the two halves together we go down the, the, the back of the horse here so going down the back of the horse again put some glue it in into the you'll find that this if you ease it off a bit there's a there's a slight gap and the extra thin will capillary through 
let it do that and it will form a joint and then you can squeeze it together like that put a bit of masking tape on it um, and it should be okay just put, put that together and that will hold those two halves together put the masking tape on after the glue has started to go off um, so again it's just that and where the, that hole is there drop a, a glue in there and that will go through there quite nicely um, it's quite a simple thing to do um, while we're sort of going around the horse um, obviously it's creating a seam the, the seam will eventually so even there seam will eventually seal as the glue goes off and again here on the tail we can put some extra thin down the down the seam all the way around like like that and then we'll get another peg put that together and another peg in there I think and that should hold those parts together and again it, it's just really going around the round the joint using pegs or masking tape to hold it all together um, what I tend to do now is because all of these pegs are sitting there um, I'll, I'll leave that horse to set we haven't attacked we haven't att attempted to do the underside yet but we'll come back to that at some point um, after we've given that glue time to set off uh, And uh, as we've got two kits, so we've got the artillery piece and the and the coach. Um, the horses are all similar. So what I'm going to do is go off and deal with all of the horses. So I'll get all eight horses for both kits done in one in one sitting. But that's the principle that I use. Um, you know variations on the theme and uh, we'll come back to you in a second once once they're all done so I've actually got all of the horses from both kits um, in various stages of uh, of gluing and, and whatnot um, so then after after the glue set on the seams what I've then done is gone round the horses um, and found any gaps uh, that there might be and I've used my my concoction of uh, sprue goo just to fill those gaps up um, and just make sure that everything sort of is full or there's no, no holes and no gaps <coughs> um, and then what I'll do is um, I'll leave these to, to set overnight and then once once they're set um, then we can deal with the seams properly um, and on this one I've, I've made a start on this one because this was the first one that I did um, so we can deal with the, the neck as well the front of the the, the body there um, and then take off the the seam here. There's a there's a sort of mould seam on the legs. 
so I take those off and on the inside as well and then um, it, as you can see here there's a fairly substantial ridge this is on all of them um, so what we, what I've done is basically taken the taken that off smooth that round smooth that round smooth that over and again in under there smooth that all out and then on on the legs themselves again smoothed it round giving it more of a curved shape rather than this sort of sharp sharp line that they've got um and then we'll we'll carry on so that's the that's the sort of first one which i'm, I'm still working on um um and then yeah so we go on to the next stage after after this one i've got another seven horses to do so that that'll take a fair bit of time and uh i'll get on with that and i'll be probably take me a couple of days to do this but in terms of this video i'll be back in a minute so one of the other things in in sort of dealing with, with these horses i've noticed that some of the some of the contours are, are a tad sharp like there um so again it's like sanding in just to try and take that sharpness out of it i've looked at a lot of photographs now of horses and stuff and and that doesn't sort of appear this seems to me that this is a an allowance that was done just for the molding process so we can um add some filler around that i think and just then smooth it down to get a nice a nice sort of curved shape there onto the body of the horse but generally speaking um everything's going together quite nicely seems need tidying up and again in some places um i'm using a bit of sprue glue um and also using some of this from mr surface for 500 just just to give make sure that the contours on the body aren't too sharp um and then we'll move on the next thing will will be is to, is to make sure the sort of tails and and the mane uh, are sort of carved reasonably well i use some uh, that uh, mr surface of 500 there because this this seam uh just wouldn't seem it didn't <laughs> this seam didn't seem to settle down um but yeah generally speaking um all the horses are going together quite well and just i've kept these holes um these are to do with the way in which the the harnesses go so i've just kept those for now if later on when, when i start working on the harnesses i find that i don't need them then these will be filled and sanded but um yeah the horses are going together quite well for the whole herd of them in the meantime just to take a break from that um i started putting the limber together um and uh notice there was a couple of sink marks there which which uh if i bring that up um i've had to fill used a bit of sprue though um leave it to set i leave, leave a lot of this to set overnight 24 hours something like that and then you can go in and sort of sand it back um and then just basically dressing up the parts for the gun carriage and stuff like that um <clears throat> put the put the barrels together or the barrel together of the cannon and the actual trial of the of the gun there um yeah <coughs> excuse me generally the fit is good um so we're going to carry on with the uh with the artillery set first i think uh, so i'll get that to the stage where i'm ready to put harnesses together and then i'll refer to the the coach kit to uh to sort of get the fittings for the harnesses but uh, that's where i am at the moment i <laughs> dived in a couple of days um and done that um the only the only problem that i'm really facing is with the horses um you know dressing the seams and all of that takes hours so it's uh 
bit of a tedious job but hey anyway hope you find that interesting and uh, I'll see you on the next one take it easy bye for now